but you're on a shirt. Like he pats your back. I probably slap his hand. Uh, what if a straight person does it? Uh, I'll just look at him like, what's, what's wrong with you? No, like pats your back, man. Like, good job, but. Oh, oh yeah, uh, I'm okay with that. What if a gay person does that? Mm, don't touch me. It's a little harsh, but. Don't you think? The only reason why I'm acting like this, cause replay, I got hit on by gay guys before. So you gotta and, understand that and shit you, is. And it made you really, it made you really um uncomfortable. Yes, very uncomfortable. I, I remember I'll, I'll name one incident that happened. I went to a club with my brother and my brother's boy uh, that and he's my boy too I knew him since like I was a kid um, alright we all went to the bar and then this this dude came up to me right and I couldn't really hear what he's saying at first but he put his arm around my neck right so I thought I'm thinking he's telling talking about bitches right talking about girls and he was whispering in my ear. I thought he was talking about, yo, the party's going good and shit, like, all oh, the other girl. That, that's what I thought he was saying. But then I couldn't really hear him because the music was loud. So I told him, like, say that again. So he said it one more time, and then I completely heard what he said. He said, do you want to come back to the room? When he said that to me, Replay, I shoved the shit out of him. I pushed him. I pushed the shit out. I was so mad, bro. Like, I swear, if he would have touched me that night, replay, oh my god, I would knock him out, bro. <laughs> you little wild in there, bud. Then the thing was, this guy, he was like, he was like, he looked like Batista size, bro. Like, that ass, that's how, he, he was like, blocky, like, he was like Batista size. But I was taller than him, though. But he was like Batista size, fucking grabbing my, putting his arm around my neck and asked me, oh, do you want to come back to the, to the room? I'm like, what? I, I was like, what? I, I pushed the shit out of him when he play. And I was just waiting for him to touch me. If he touched me, oh my goodness, I would knock him out. And, and when I, once I pushed him, he like, he walked away like a bitch. He was just looking at me. I was just waiting for him to come any close. I had my fist balled and everything, bro. That shit was the most uncomfortable. That was the second time most uncomfortable shit that ever had happened. That was the second time some shit like that happened to me. The first time, it was this grown ass man. And I was in high school. And, um,. Me and my dad and my grandmother, before my grandmother passed, went to like this uh, 7 Eleven, right? Mm -hmm. So, this old ass black guy, right? He came up to me. He's like, Oh, hey, do you play sports? And I told him, Yeah, I do play sports. I play football. This is when I was doing football. So, next thing you know, he started grabbing my arm and shit. Like, Oh, shit, you got muscles. What the fuck? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I felt so uncomfortable, and my dad and my grandmother is standing right next to me. They didn't do nothing, right? But, you know, I, I'm thinking like, okay, why is he grabbing my muscles? He just want to see how big I am? Like, I don't understand this. I never met this guy in my life. And so, the next thing you know, he actually... When's your birthday? Who the fuck asked that question? That's when that's when my whole radar just went off. My defense system just went off. I was like, I was like, birthday? Birthday? Yo, know, I, I was screaming like in the in the thing, bro. Like that's how mad I was. Like, like nah, 
Actually, oh, it was the third time, bro. Wait, one second. I, I was playing the third time. Uh, I was. I told him my birthday. What? My birthday. I, I looked at him with disgust and so like so much anger. He was so silent. Replay. And then my grandmother. He. My grandmother noticed. Like, after we left the store, my grandma was, was telling my dad. Like, I think that guy was a faggot. She I actually used that word. Grandma. Yeah, my grandmother used that word. Cause, cause like, and she was saying like the way he was touching him and shit. Like, she don't even know him. Like, what the fuck you touching me? Like, I understand I'm a pretty boy, but I'm not gay, bro. Like, like I know a lot of girls think I'm attractive. They say I'm cute, but like when it comes to dudes, that's a no go. It's a no go. I. Getting comp, well, I do get compliments from other dudes saying that I'm handsome, uh, I'm good looking, whatever. But they 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 don't mean it in a way to say that they're gay. They just give me a compliment. But when it comes to gay guys, bro, oh they go for when it comes to gay guys, when it comes to me, and they try to hit on me, oh they go beyond the limits, bro. Like they go beyond the boundaries. That's why I don't fuck with gay. People. I mean, I, I respect them, but I, I just can't be around them. Can't. And, and I try not to be too much of friends with them, but then it might go into some other shit. You know, I'll just be friendly with them, that's it, but we're not being friends. Completely friends. We just, we just associates, basically, that's it. When I see you, we just talk, that's it. But, uh, but yeah, that shit was crazy replay. And then another time I went to New York, right? And I was with my, um, dad. He was going to my brother's little, uh, soiree for his job. You know, it's a soiree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was in Manhattan. It was at this, uh, five star, um, hotel, whatever. Very fancy spot. Uh, it was good. It was a nice spot. So I'm walking, right, and I'm in my suit and shit. This gay guy literally was eyeing me, bro. Like he was just staring at me, staring. Like I, I didn't even look his way. I was looking straight, but I could see that when I when I walked right past him, he kept staring at me, bro. And and he, you know how girls smile at you, like if they're interested in you. Yeah. He that's what that motherfucker was doing to me, bro. I was like, yo, this motherfucker is crazy. I didn't, I ain't doing nothing. I just ignored it. Like, I didn't look, I didn't look his way. That shit was crazy replay. Now, now you understand why I'm uncomfortable with gay people? Yeah. But that's, that's, that's nothing. The last, the last thing that just happened to me, um, this guy, and he's like a film producer, whatever. This motherfucker, I asked him like, uh, so you do film, right? Like production and shit. I asked him, okay, you know, you know, I'm looking for a job, whatever. So he told me, um, text him. So I text him, uh, and he said, uh, so I'm thinking. I'm probably gonna come to New York and uh, do like a little interview or something, shit like that. This motherfucker asked me come to his house and watch some fucking DVDs. What? Yo, I blocked his phone so fast. Replay. He's uh, like, to like, watch put, him fuck I DVDs. Put... Huh? You said to watch him fuck DVDs. No, he act. He asked me. If you want to come over, we can watch some DVDs. I'm like, DVDs? I put a question mark. And then everything just come together to me. I'm like, oh, nah. I already know who type of guy this is. He, he's some pedophile type of gay-ass motherfucker. So I blocked him like, right on the spot. Never, never sent him another text after that. You hear me? Yeah. Are you ready to play now? Tonight. Oh, uh, wait. 
Tsunayino wa 